I'm 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 making this on the side. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hello, beautiful people. Happy today. Today, it's a total different scenery, total different setting. I am at the studio of Chris's, which is the Lavish Liquid office. And we're so excited because we are making drinks. It's first thing in the morning. It's one week before Mother's Day and the theme is Mother's Day. So we are, well, he is gonna show you guys how to make an amazing Mother's Day brunch, cocktail, or drink, however. Oh, oh, oh. Did you wanna make it with me? We can do a little yeah. side by side. Yeah, you wanna have some fun yeah. with it. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna make it by together. The, by the end of this thing, I'm gonna become a mixologist and change my career. So, okay. maybe. You're hired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, let's get to it. Why don't you just talk a little bit about yourself? How did you get into this whole world? And then get right into it. Yeah, okay. So, uh, again, as she was saying, my name is Chris. Uh, so, I am one of the owners and operators for Lavish Liquid. So we've been around for almost eight years now, and we specialize in cocktail service for special events, uh, public or private, whatever you need. Uh, anything, so good. anything beverage related, we're we're here to do it for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So so, uh, so good. They're one of the best I've ever seen in town. So check them out yeah. if you're in Vancouver, and if you're not, you know. We branch out too. They branch out yeah, too. Yeah, we try. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Great. Let's get to it. Okay. So for my brunch cocktail today. Uh, so it's going to be more about style, a classic style brunch cocktail. We're going to do uh, something a little bit uh, heavier. We're using a gin and we're using a little bit of a, a French style vermouth wine called the Lay. Uh, so we're going to add a couple of those together. We're going to uh, learn so much today. Yeah. <laughs> I think so because honestly. Well, I'm, I'm going to use some things <laughs> like, why are we mixing those together? But honestly, when you have that perfect balance, to, you know, things can work okay. so very, very, very together. Cheers. So. <laughs> <laughs> My brandy here. <laughs> <laughs> so the gin we're using is a local gin. This is uh, Tempo Renovo, which is actually from Delta. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I love the bottle too. More the branding, a little more floral styles, mm -hmm. uh, less juniper forward, so it's great yeah. for cocktails, especially if you're not really into that uh, harsh uh, lemon dry, because it can be a little bit more of that piney juniper forward. Amazing. So it's a little bit softer on the palate, which Exciting. is nice. What's it called again? Tempo. Tempo Renovo. Ooh. Yeah. Her new favorite gin, maybe? So good. And again, as I was mentioning earlier, so we're using a Lillet Blanc. It's a French style vermouth wine. Yeah. Um, we're also using a little bit of peach, a little bit of lemon, give it some brightness, some egg white, which is not typical to add to a champagne oh, wow. cocktail, but we're going we're gonna to have some fun with it. Okay, it's cool. So you have to walk everybody through exactly oh, absolutely. what you're doing. So yeah, yeah. Step by step, because right. you're going to be able to make this at home, right? Yes. Right. Okay. I'm going to okay. do it today. I'm going to do it. You're going to make it with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of yeah. course. And in the future. Yeah, so we have a few, you know, few, <laughs> few simple basic tools. We have our, uh, our jigger, mm -hmm. Japanese style jigger. We have one, two, Hawthorne strainer. I'm sure most of you seen yes, it before in cocktail bars. Double strainer, because mm -hmm. we want to get some of that fine ice out of it, right? Cool. Uh, and then we have what we call a freezing style shaker. Right on. Yeah. Most okay. people have these. You know, and if not, if not, there's other different style shakers you can get. Yeah. You have a three piece cobbler or your Boston shaker, your other style tin on tin, but uh, this is the one I like to use. Right now. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Feel comfortable? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Should I actually like, do it? <laughs> I don't do it. Okay. Yes. So, let's, let's actually get to it. Okay, I'm going to go get the bubbles and fill this with ice. Okay. And yeah. And we'll jump right in. I'm going to have another sip. I think. Yeah. Okay, fine. Sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Before we get into it, let's have another second for you. Yes. Okay. Alright. So, yeah, you're going to help me go through this whole thing. Okay? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. let me know. What am I doing? So, we're going to get our glass ready. Okay. So, we're going to get this glass here. Like, typically, when you're doing a champagne cocktail, you can use, obviously, your different style flutes. We've got some crystals here. We've got some nice uh, gold polka dotted style ones. You can use yeah. whatever glass you're more comfortable with, whatever looks best for you. Um, I mean, I mean, it kind of like suits your decor and style, and like, that, or like your mom, because it's all about your mom. So whatever they like, I think you should go, you know, along with that. So if they're like more classic, so you should go with like a cute little tray, and we'll walk you through that at, at, at the end of this whole thing. Yeah. Or do a marble, you know, tray and just solid roses and very clean look. So we'll get back. Uh, I personally chose this glass. Okay. Um, for my mom, because. Okay. She's she drinks cool. she drinks fast. <laughs> Is that right? She drinks she drinks 
her cocktails pretty quickly. Okay. And she can be a little clumsy, so I don't. I'm, I try to avoid the stems with my mother. Got it. I love you, but you're clumsy. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna go with solid. I need yeah, solid so, glass. so it, it's kind of like a stemless champagne, uh, but it is more. But I still love it. But like this is this is a Collins. Yeah. We call a Collins glass. Okay. So we're gonna show that. Put some ice in there. Okay. You want your glass nice and cold. Very important to have a chilled glass. Okay. Now we're gonna get our shaker tin. Let's set this aside so everyone can see. So we got our shaker tin here. So that's a prison shaker. So we're gonna give you this here. So we're gonna, that's a one ounce. Okay. Okay. So how how boozy do you want to go? Pretty boozy. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let's get mom drunk. Yeah. I mean, first thing in the morning. <laughs> what do you want to have? Your two ounce cocktail? Yes. It's let's Mother's Day. let's do that. I think they can use the. Alcohol. Okay. So here's your tempo over and over gin. You're gonna pour it to the top. We're gonna go full ounce of gin. All right. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, to the top. Don't be shy. There you go. And then you can throw it right in there. It's pretty full. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's higher. it? You're higher. I'm higher. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Is, that was it? That, yeah. that for the gin, yeah. And we're going to the Lille Blanc. Okay, so this is going to add some nice sweetness. Are Floral we still notes. using this? Still using that one. We're going to go a half. Half of this? Half of that. Now, when you how think, would I know? Well, when you think half, because it gets wider to the top, yeah. half is actually almost to the top. Okay. So I'll, I'll let you know when. Okay, cool. Okay, don't be shy. I'm looking up. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, there, that's, that's, that's so, about half So, for people who are not really saying what we're yeah. doing, it's almost like three almost quarters. Like, it, yeah. Mean, we can go we can do it in the shot glass a little bit later and I'll show you what a half looks like. But I mean this this awesome. we're gonna do a half. So we're gonna throw that in there. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool, cool. Got some fresh lemon juice. Okay. Okay. You're just pour in there or okay. you're gonna still measure. Okay. It's cool. important we'll to measure, measure your cocktails because for consistency, right? Because if you yeah. pour everything, you're gonna have some it's inconsistency hard. in flavor. It's it's like it's science, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go for a three quarter ounce, which is literally almost to the top. Oh, okay. Yeah. So all of it, keep going. Yeah, oh. yeah. Keep, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Okay. A little tartness isn't going to hurt anybody anyway. Okay. So a little bit more, you're okay. okay. And you can always, you can always balance out a little bit more sweet Citrus. after if you need to. And we're also going to use some peach uh, to play on some of uh, the Bellini okay. style slash Mimosa like, style. So how do you, how do you get this? Like, this oh, the, so the fresh juices I use actually is from Chasers in Yale Town. Uh, they're a juicery just off of mainland between Nelson so and Hamilton. Fresh, 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 pressed. Uh, and, no, and nothing okay. else. Okay. Yeah, Amazing. absolutely. So, okay, so peach you all can get that. and lemon. Same for lemon. Yeah, all my juice I use from them. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do a, a half. Half of okay, so yeah, same as yeah, the as wine. wine. Yes. Okay, so so to be a little bit of sweetness from the Le Blanc again, and we're getting some more sweetness from it? the fresh peach. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Yeah, hey, you got the hang of it. There we go. <laughs> now, I, I know this is uh, again not very typical to have in a champagne cocktail, but we're gonna put a little bit of egg white in there too, just to get a little bit more uh, body it's and volume. It's gonna be interesting. To, to I'm cocktail. excited. Yeah, so we're gonna throw a half ounce of that in there too. Okay. Yeah. So same as. Same as everything. Yeah, the, the French wine and that peach. Yeah, we're gonna do a half. Uh, so egg white. When you add egg, egg white to cocktails, it gives it nice uh, volume and texture. Uh, it doesn't change the flavor profile at all. And uh, you know, there's some people always uh, curious about whether uh, eggs are safe to have in cocktails, but because they're pasteurized and you add the alcohol, uh, it's completely safe. True. Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And question. I yes. have a question for yes. me. Uh, so when you're using the same thing and mixing all the other like everything else in the same thing, mm -hmm. that's okay. Like, yeah, I mean it's all gonna end up in the same vessel anyhow, so sure. uh, okay. not not terrible. I mean obviously when you see cocktail bars, they are kind of have a little a rinser. So they'll do that uh, in case they ever make any mistakes, of course. Bye. But Bye. Uh, we're, we're, we're working with what we got here today. Yeah, so yeah absolutely. We're and okay, we're safe. What you have at your home. And, and, and we're working with a professional so she knows what she's doing. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so when you have an egg white cocktail, yeah. uh, it's a technique called a dry shake. So you don't add ice beforehand. Uh, you can, but we'll get into that. We'll go with the basic style okay. first. So a dry shake is when you're actually shaking it without ice. So we're going to take the top of the tin. We're gonna give it a good light tap okay. to make sure we get a nice seal. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna explode. Okay. Uh, because I'm stay away. From yeah, you're gonna step back. <laughs> you, know, you don't do this. Um, you sure? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. I've never done this before. Okay, just make sure you have a good grip on the top and the bottom, and you want to give it a really hard shake. And the reason we're gonna do that is for aeration and to create a emulsification with that egg white. So yeah, go ahead, Jay. Give oh it a good God, shake. I'm yeah, come on. No, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Come on, shake harder. Like, it's like, Is it leaking a little bit? Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. I just want to make sure I'm not going to. Okay. Well, 
Okay, yeah. I'm still nervous. It's alright. First time. <laughs> like, give it a nice hard shake. Okay? So this again, is like the most fun part of it, and I'm like scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the fun part is actually when you drink it. Well, yeah, That's the fun but part. I'm always like, I'm so like, always like, you know, excited when the bartenders are doing this shake. Okay, so. And, like, so you see, you see it's uh, nice and foamy there, Ooh. we can get that on camera, it's yeah. nice and classified there, Looks get a little so cold, good. okay, so now we're going to add our ice, now we're going to add the ice again for add more aeration and dilution this time to help uh, chill the cocktail and add a little bit of water, so we get our ice in there, lots of ice, lots of ice, lots of ice, ice is very important and the quality of ice is very important as well. Uh, if you ever have oh, ice, have ice, yes, because oh, if, wow. you if you have your ice in your ice tray at home, if you notice that it's really cloudy, it's because the, the water you're using has some minerals and harsh, harsh oh. uh, minerals inside of it, which makes it cloudy. Oh my god, so, I never knew that. So, uh, clear ice is always better, it's cleaner, uh, and it does affect the flavor profile of your cocktail. Got it. So, ice clear. inside. Ice. Okay, we're going to give this a nice hard shake again. Okay, so you you shake until it becomes really really cold, too cold to touch. You want to feel that? Feel oh that yeah, I, I cold, can. Right? Yeah, I can even see it. Like yeah, it's, all it's all frosty. Yeah. So I want to just give that a little bit of a wiggle, get the top off. I see it's nice Ooh. and foamy. Great texture on that cocktail there. So good. A right, chill glass. Now to give it a nice foamy. So you were just on. chilling the glass there. Yeah, so, so it's nice and like, cold. Yeah. But you're not gonna serve it. Ice no, not this one. Okay. You can. Oh, just absolutely okay. can. Again, based on personal preference, you absolutely can. This Hold one. Hold on. Not. We have to talk about this brand. Oh, it's so cupcake. Yes. Yeah. Cupcake. I know. I thought. I, I thought it fit really well with the Mother's Day. Cupcakes. Cupcakes. <laughs> and cakes and, uh, so Italian prosecco. Prosecco comes from the northeast region of Italy, uh, typically in the parts mm. of Veneto. So prosecco is a dry style Italian sparkling wine. Okay, so we'll pour that first. So, yeah, so we're gonna add about the glass a little so we'll yeah. get less bubbles. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. About one third. Kind of knew that. Get that going in there. We could top up a little bit more depending on how much volume we have from the cocktail, mm -hmm. but so we're gonna have this here and we're gonna Hold strain on. and okay, dump. Like, oh, I wanna do a you, story. You, you, you wanna film this, okay. I wanna like I wanna double film this. Okay. You ready? Yeah. So we're gonna strain and double strain. And you see it's gonna create a nice foam on top. A bit of a process to get that fine ice, and we double strain it to get all the crushed ice out of the cocktail as well. It does take a little bit of time, but this is going to give us a bit of a fizz, is what we call it. Beauty. Got some of that crushed ice out, so we're okay. going to keep going here. This is so exciting. And now we have a little bit of room to top up with more bubbles, so you can't oh go wrong with more bubbles. Gosh. Always good to have more bubbles. Oh yes, the, the cupcake. The yeah. cupcake bubbles. Cupcake. Come on. Right? Like, served with cupcakes? Like, perfect. You want that just, see how it kind of just bubbles over like that? Almost like a cupcake top with some icing. And what should we finish with? What should we, I think we should finish with just a little, little raspberry oh, top. Oh my lord, I just died. It is so cute. I love it. I love it. So good. For you, Mom. Don't get too drunk. Yes. Well, or do. It's your okay. day. It's your it's day. It's your day. Yeah. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Cheers. Yeah. Well, we're gonna sip on that brandy, but I still wanna like. Oh yeah, we'll get into that. We'll Appreciate get into it. that. Yeah. Very soon. Thanks. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Look yeah. how gorgeous this is. Like, Chris, come Beautiful, on. Beautiful, like champagne cocktail, champagne fizz. It's an art, honestly. It's a true art, and I'm just so you know, like. It's booze. I can't even believe yeah. something like this is even possible. Hold on, I have to have a sip. Oh please. Oh my God. Mm. Strong. Mm. It's okay. No, it's just perfect. Just again. It's strong, but it's perfect. It's so refreshing. It's for you, it's Mom. perfect for it's breakfast, strong. like brunch. Yeah. God, I'm loving it. Mm. Okay. I may just stand here and just drink this off, and you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. 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 <laughs> cool cocktail. So yeah, if you were to kind of do something a bit classic with the same amazing drink, of you course, have to yeah. try it. You have to make it and try it. It's unreal but i have this little tray which i you'd be so surprised i picked it up from a flea market the other day <laughs> thanks but if you wanted to do something a bit classic and not go so traditional with pink necessarily i would do something like this a tray whatever you have that your mom would love i love flowers so i as you know if you were going to do yeah breakfast in bed yeah, maybe a bigger tray, perhaps, mm -hmm. to have to drink. Um, a 
in a nicer glass. Be careful walking it to your mom's bed. Maybe you don't use crystal. <laughs> oh, yes. You use like one of those. If you're clumsy <laughs> like my mom, use a rocks glass. So just like creating something like this with a little bit of a bloom, it just adds so much. And I obviously chose the orange tulip to pick up the oranges from the glass. The beautiful drink, if you envision this in there, it's just gonna look so good with the raspberries, with a little bit of rose there. So that's something you can do. And if you were to kind of, I guess, have an action brunch out, which we're still gonna talk about it in the next video, I just like literally put a whole bunch of tulips in a vase and look so how beautiful, beautiful they're dancing. Really nice. They're just dancing away the and they're just doing Great their colors. own thing. And yeah, literally pairing this with this tray. But something like this will just work so well with a little bit of goodies, a little bit of breakfast, eggs, whatever, fruits to go complement with the yellow and orange. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna look so good, okay? So you could do something like that. Or you could do something a little bit more minimal and clean and keep it with the pink and rose, which you can never go wrong with. Oh, and as Chris showed you earlier. Beautiful polka dot. Yeah, polka dot, so girly and cute, why not? I, I, would those. I would drink out of that. Right? Yeah, I would. I would too. Yeah, a guy would, yeah. a girl would, so yeah, yeah mama for sure would. <laughs> <laughs> and I had this cute little like glassware or mugs or what is it? Like, I don't know, ceramic containers, but it's so cute. It's girly and it's kind of, you know, works with the mama. Yeah, yeah. I have roses? two different oh, sizes, yeah. look, oh, wow. right? Yeah. And putting some roses, they're pretty blown. The garden roses, they smell heavenly. And what I did was a marble tray. I'll just have right. that right? Okay. And what I love about like creating something like this on a marble or like a cheese plate or even like a platter or a tray, there's no limitations, there's no boundaries. So what you can do is just literally go ahead and pour the raspberries on the platter, put the drink on it, put a little bit of flowers, the roses, put a little bit of candle and just put it on a little coffee table or the dining table and you know, present it as is and have it feel that pretty. So pretty. Yeah. And hold on, I have to have another sip. I was, I was so gonna sneak in a sip too. <laughs> you made me do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so good. Mm, thank you. It's so refreshing. You have no idea. You have to make it. We're gonna yeah, yeah. have an announcement too. We're so gonna be doing this once a month. Once a month. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. So a new drink, dealer's choice. He's gonna surprise us with a new drink every month, and we're gonna figure out a set schedule of when we're gonna like release those videos every we'll month. But it's happening every month. And we hope you really enjoyed this. Thank you so much, Chris, for being on the show and yeah. just playing with me. Yeah, make sure you come visit us too. Uh, we do have our social handles. You can visit us uh, at Lavish Liquid Bar uh, for all of our social handles, as well as lavishliquid.com for our website. So you can find any And we're linking there. all of that below. Yeah, so yeah. you actually- Right here. Right here, in this area, maybe like there, or wherever, there. <laughs> yeah, wherever we do. But it's gonna be on the description as well. So make sure you, yeah. you know, follow along. Come they, say hi. Yeah. Uh, give me any questions about cocktails. Shoot Absolutely. me a message. Shoot yeah. us a message, and yeah. we we'll, are happy to answer any questions. And we'll see you next month for Absolutely. our next cocktail feature. Cheers. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Bye.